vegetables also can be braised. And while almost any vegetable can be cooked in this manner, uh, some of my favorites include leeks, fennel, broccoli rabe, and cabbage. Uh, today I'm going to share my recipe for braised red cabbage and caramelized apples. It's a very delicious recipe, and the process really is the same process that you would use pretty much for any of the vegetables I just mentioned. Now the first thing we do for the cabbage braise is to melt some butter, six tablespoons, in a large deep skillet. Melt a half a cup of sugar in the butter, a whole half a cup. and one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. The apples and the onions are going to caramelize in this mixture. And sugar is needed to caramelize the apples and the onions and balance the tart flavor of the vinegar that's added towards the end. Vegetables that are going to be braised should be cut in rather large pieces. They will hold together nicer that way. And we have two apples cut in wedges, peeled, cored, and I hope you all have an apple core like this. It really allows you to get nice pieces of apple. Make sure there's no peel left. You don't want to have any of that green peel. And cut the apple into six equal pieces. The onion, too, has to be cut into big wedges. Cut this into eight equal pieces. There. So now sugar is melting well in the butter. So now once all that sugar is melted into the butter, place the onions and the apples in a single layer. It'll pretty much crowd the pan and you will cook caramelizing everything for about 10 minutes. So beautiful. So braising really cooks everything until it's soft and tender, but everything is still recognizable, which is important. After a few minutes, they're gonna start getting a little bit of color, so watch carefully and you can turn them over. Now the cabbage. Nice little head, I've removed the outer leaves, the tough outer leaves and cut off the stem end and cut the cabbage into eight pieces. And there's a very hard core in the cabbage. We want the cabbage to hold together, so just take out a little bit of that center core. Just enough to make it a little bit more tender, but not enough to make it fall apart. So you can see the apples have taken on a little brown color, as have the onions. Now time to add the cabbage. Just lay the cabbage right on top. These nice wedges of red cabbage leaves. And we add water and also vinegar. Adding an acid like vinegar helps to develop the complex flavors in the dish. And the acid also in the vinegar helps to keep the cabbage a bright purple color. So three quarters of a cup of water and the same amount of cider vinegar. I like cider vinegar. It goes very, very nicely with cabbage, with apples, with onions. Bring that to a boil, cover, and then simmer until the cabbage is tender. That takes about 25 to 30 minutes. It looks really great. You can just pour it out onto a platter. The apples have totally disintegrated, which is great. It sort of makes like an applesauce base. The onions are still visible. This is a great dish to serve with roast loin of pork, with roast turkey or chicken. Thanks for joining me today. I will see you again on another episode of Cooking School.